checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. I don't want to say ridiculous story. It really is a sad story when you think about it. The story of Alfred Mancinelli, the man that was scammed out of nearly $1 million by a con artist impersonating Alexa Bliss. The story is up on the front page of the website. It says that Mancinelli became completely smitten with an imposter after being targeted online and was convinced he was in a romantic relationship with Bliss. The New York Times wrote... He drained his retirement savings and his granddaughter's college fund before passing away at 79 years old. His chat, message, his chat messages with the sham Alexa read like a soap opera, the New York Times wrote. There were battles with his son whom he disowned after his son tried to safeguard his money. Other evil meddlers trying to spoil their relationship and ongoing references to Vince McMahon, the former wrestling promoter, whom the fake Alexa accused of humiliating her after she refused his advances. But Alfred was always there, ready to extend emotional and financial support. The Alexa impersonator often claimed to be hospitalized for bad menstrual periods and would plead with Alfred to send money so the hospital could begin treating her. Tell me how much do you have left, baby, the imposter said in a chat. Mancinelli and the imposter never spoke by audio or video, but the imposter sent him trinkets in the mail and once sent him pizza for his birthday. Mancinelli's son tried to step in and protect what was left of his father's money, but Mancinelli was loyal to the fake Bliss. Bliss has repeatedly warned fans about scammers impersonating her. Other WWE stars, including Liv Morgan, have also warned fans about similar scam operations. The story also reads that Mancinelli also sent money to two other scammers not impersonating Bliss who claim to have sick children or be caring for sick children. About $900,000 was drained from this man uh, by these folks. And you see it and you hear about it and I'm always amazed, you know, that it happens, you know, for years it used to be fax schemes and phone calls uh, about somebody, you know, saying they were kidnapped or a, what is it, the the prince in... in Nigerian in prince. Nigeria, yeah, scam artist, you know, apparently who got Joe Pettacino and, and gl the Global Wrestling Federation. There was something like that. He thought he had a bunch of money from some Nigerian prince or something like that and then sunk a bunch of money in and then found out you know there there was no nigerian prince the dude had absolutely no money whatsoever but are, are you, know, you talking about soft ground wrestling <laughs> no not because what's going on with that? <laughs> that that would be uganda and i i don't know i haven't heard much from them recently but you know tom again this is just kind of really just a sad story about a an old man getting preyed on and and really fallen really fallen victim to it yeah you know as a a sign of caution, I, I'm pretty sure, almost positive, almost 100%, I can tell you that if you never meet the person or speak to them on the phone, you are not in a relationship with them. Do not be sending that person money. You know who you should be sending your money to? Who? Wrestlers who are hurt. You know? If we could have gotten, maybe if we could have gotten this guy... You know, could have helped out some people. If you're out there and you're looking for a good cause, Chris Bay, still recovering, TNA superstar. So if you got $900,000, shoot some of it his way. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.